The 55th Annual Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee is brought to you by presenting sponsor Weir's Furniture, serving the Dallas Metroplex since 1948. Whataburger, Busy Bee Sponsor, Major Nate's North Dallas Honey Company, Honey Bee Sponsor, and Southwest Airlines, the exclusive and official airline for the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee. Find Southwest fares online only at southwest.com. There's been a lot of buzz over the last few months. Spelling Bee champions from throughout our region have been preparing to compete in the 55th Annual Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee, presented by Weir's Furniture. Let's welcome our host, David Schechter, WFAA Senior Reporter and MC of this year's competition. Thank you and welcome to the 55th Annual Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee presented by Weir's Furniture. We are excited to host some of the brightest students from across North and East Texas. These spellers took first place honors at county spelling bees across the region and they're competing today for the chance to win valuable prizes. One lucky contestant will represent the Dallas region at the Scripps National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C., May 26th through June 1st. Now, let's meet our contestants. They represent the best among 100,000 students from more than 600 schools who participated in spelling bees at the classroom level. In order to compete in today's bee, they had to win a local spelling championship at the school and county levels. Today's champion and their guests will win an all-expense-paid trip to Washington, D.C. as guests of the Dallas Morning News. The trip will include sightseeing and the chance to compete in the National Scripps Spelling Bee with contestants from across the United States and around the world. Regional Spelling Bee sponsors Southwest Airlines will provide the airline tickets to D.C. The Dallas Morning News would like to thank its four generous Regional Bee sponsors. Presenting sponsor, Weir's Furniture. Busy Bee sponsor, Whataburger. Honey Bee sponsor, Nature Nate's North Dallas Honey Company. And Southwest Airlines. Now let's meet our distinguished officials. Our pronouncer is Sherry Coleman, a retired Garland Independent School District Administrator and an Executive Assistant with Harvest Partners. Our judges are Jay Quitman Stevens, employee benefits and health care reform attorney and partner with Gordon and Reeves LLP. Mr. Stevens, by the way, is also a former champion of the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee in 1984 and 85. Courtney Carter Harbor, Associate Dean, Arts, Language, and Literature Division at Eastfield Community College, and Javier Solis, Hispanic Community Liaison with the Garland Independent School District. Standard National Spelling Bee rules prevail, and now here is Sherry Coleman and the 26 contestants in the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee. Deluxe. Deluxe. D-E-L-U-X-E, -E, Deluxe. That's correct. Dreary. Dreary. D R I R E Y Jerry The correct spelling it's D R E A R Y Harpoon Harpoon H A R P O O N That's correct Waltz. Waltz, can I have the definition, please? A round dance in three-quarter time with a strong accent on the first beat of the measure that is characterized by one step to the beat, typically at a moderately fast tempo. Waltz. Waltz, could I have the language of origin? This word is from an originally German word, waltz. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Waltz. 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 W-A-L-T. Z, Waltz. That's correct. Gospel. Um, can I have the definition, please? The teachings of Jesus and the apostles as a body or system, the Christian faith, revelation, or dispensation. Gospel. G-O-S-P-E-L. Gospel. That's correct. Rucksack. Rucksack. R U 
C K S A C K rucksack. That's correct. Easel. Easel. Can I have the definition? A wooden, metal, or plastic frame to hold a canvas upright or inclined at a proper level for the painter's convenience in working. Easel. Easel. Can I have the part of speech? This is a noun. Easel. E A S E L. Easel. That's correct. Nostril. Nostril, may I have the definition, please? An external opening of the nose or of the nasal cavity of a vertebrate. May Nostril. I have the language of origin, please? This word is originally English. Nostril. N O S T R I L. Nostril. That's correct. Tundra. Can I have the definition, please? A treeless plain characteristic of Arctic and subarctic regions with a permanently frozen subsoil. Tundra. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a Finno Ugric derived Russian word. Tundra. Tundra. T U N D R A. Tundra. That's correct. Adios. May I please have a definition? Interjection, used to express farewell. Adios. Language of origin, please. This word is from a word that went from Latin to Spanish. Adios. A D I O S. Adios. That's correct. Tofu. Uh, may I have the definition, please? A soft vegetable cheese that is prepared by treating soybean milk with coagulants and draining and pressing. Tofu. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Some people use tofu as a substitute for meat. Tofu. Tofu. T-O-F-U. Tofu. That's correct. <coughs> Brackish. Definition, please. Somewhat salty, less salty than seawater, but undrinkable. Brackish. 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 B R A C K I S H. That's correct. Denture. Denture. May I use it in a sentence, please? Oscar finally gave up eating peanut brittle after he ruined his third denture. Denture. D E N. T U R E, Denture. That's correct. Mongoose. Mongoose. M O N G O O S E, Mongoose. That's correct. Behest. Can I please have the definition, please? A strong, often authoritative request. Behest. Behest. B-E-H-E-S-T. That's correct. Fickle. May I have the definition, please? Given to ready change, inconstancy, whimsical choice, or unpredictable variability. Fickle. Fickle. F-I-C-K-L-E. Fickle. That's correct. Bamboo. Bamboo. B A M B O O. Bamboo. That's correct. Talc. Talc. T A L C. Talc. That's correct. Canary. Canary. Can I please have the definition? A small, greenish-yellow finch that is now extensively bred as a cage bird and singer. Canary. Uh, can I please have the language of origin? This word is from a Latin geographical name that went into Spanish and then French before entering English. Canary. Can I please have any alternate pronunciations? Canary. Can I have the prior speech, please? This is a noun. Canary. C A N A R. Why, canary? That's correct. Hickory. 
hickory? Hickory. H I C K O R Y. Hickory. That's correct. Spectrum. Spectrum. Can I have the definition? A series of images formed when a beam of light is subjected to dispersion and brought to focus so that the component waves are arranged in the order of their wavelengths. Spectrum. Spectrum. S-P-E-C-T-R-U-M. Spectrum. That's correct. <coughs> Mirage. Mirage. Can I please have the definition? An optical <coughs> phenomenon that is often observed on still days over deserts or hot pavements and has the mirror-like appearance of a quiet lake or pool. Mirage. Mirage. M A. R A G E Mirage. The correct spelling is M I R A G E. Crimson. Crimson. May I have the definition? Any of several deep or vivid reds or purplish reds of rather indefinite range. Crimson. C R I M S O N. Crimson. That's correct. Diplomat. Diplomat. D I P L O M A T. Diplomat. That's correct. Seersucker. Seersucker. Can I have the definition, please? A durable, plain woven fabric, usually of <coughs> cotton or rayon, having stripes alternately flat and puckered. Seersucker. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Persian to Hindi. Seersucker. Seersucker. S E E R S U C K E R. Seersucker. That's correct. Typhoon. Typhoon. T Y P H O O N. Typhoon. That's correct. Page 23. Okay, what number? Number 75, page 23. Javier? Hassock. Can I hear it again? Hassock. Hassock. H A S I C. Hassock. The correct spelling is H A S S O C K. Mongrel. Can you please repeat the word? Mongrel. Can I have a de definition, please? An animal or plant resulting from the interbreeding of two or more breeds or strains. Mongrel. Mongrel. M-O-N-G-R-E-L. Mongrel. That's correct. Panzer. Panzer. Can I have the definition, please? A vehicle belonging to a mechanized unit of the German Army organized for rapid attack. Panzer. Panzer, can I have the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Latin to French to German. Panzer, are there any alternate pronunciations? Panzer. Panzer. P A N Z E R. Panzer. That's correct. Croquet. S croquet. C R O. C H E T. Go okay. The correct spelling is C R O Q U E T. Permian. Permian. P E R M I A N. Permian. That's correct. Semantics. Semantics. Can I have the definition? The study dealing with the relations between signs and what they refer to, the relations between the signs of a system and human behavior in reaction to signs. Semantics. Semantics. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from an originally Greek word that passed into French before becoming English.
Semantics. Can I have the part of speech? It is a plural noun. Semantics. S E M A N T I C S. Semantics. That's correct. Providence. Providence, may I have the definition, please? Divine guidance or care. Providence. Providence, may I have the language of origin, please? Originally Latin, this word went through French before becoming English. Providence, are there any alternate pronunciations? Providence. Providence. P R O V I D E N C E. Providence. That's correct. <laughs> Geothermal. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word consists of two Greek parts plus an English combining form. Geothermal. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. G E O T H E R M A L. Geothermal. That's correct. Benefactor. Uh, definition, please. One that makes a gift or bequest. Benefactor. Benefactor. B E N E F A C T O R. Benefactor. That's correct. Hydraulic. Um, can I have the definition, please? Operated, moved, or affected by means of water. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The stream and the water wheel were sure signs that the grain mill was operated by hydraulic power. Hydraulic. Hydraulic. H Y D R A U L I C. Hydraulic. That's correct. Thank you. Boswell. Boswell, definition, please. One who, out of admiration or hero worship, records in detail and usually contemporaneously the life, conversation, intimate moods, and personal relationships of a famous or otherwise significant contemporary. Boswell. B O S W E L L. That's Boswell. correct. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. May I use it in a sentence, please? Maggie's sensitive nature made her vulnerable to cross remarks. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. V U L N E R A B L E. That's correct. Syntax. Syntax. Can you please use the name origin? Language of origin. This word is from a word that went from Greek to French to Latin. Syntax. S Y N T A X. Syntax. Correct. Percolate. Percolate. P E R C O L A T E. Percolate. That's correct. Castanets. Castanets. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The flamenco dancers performed passionately while clacking their castanets. Castanets. C A S T A N E T S. Castanets. That's correct. Obstinate. Obstinate. Can you repeat the word, please? Obstinate. O B S T I N A T E. That's correct. Paradox. Paradox. P A R A D O X. Paradox. That's correct. Prosaic. 
prosaic, and I have the definition. Belonging to or characteristic of language intended primarily to give information, relate events, or communicate ideas or opinions, as, a, as distinguished from the language of poetry. Prosaic. May I please have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. May I please have alternate pronunciation? Prosaic or prosaic. May I have the par speech? It is an adjective. Prosaic. P-R-O-S-A-I-C. Prosaic. That's correct. Kremlin. Please say it again. Kremlin. Kremlin. C-R-E-M-L-I-N. Can we hear a replay on that, please? Please say it again. Kremlin. Kremlin. C-R-E-M-L-I-N. Can you give the correct spelling? Correct spelling is K-R-E-M-L-I-N. Okay. Mercurial. Can you say the definition? Characterized by rapid and unpredictable changeableness or by quick-wittedness, sprightly, temperamental, volatile. Mercurial. Can you use it in a sentence? Christopher's mercurial twists of temperament were a trial for his mother. Mercurial. Mercurial. M-E-R-C-U-R-I-A-L. Mercurial. That's correct. <coughs> Dugong. D-U-G-O-N-G. That's correct. Analysis. Analysis. A-N-A-L-Y-S-I-S. -S. Analysis. That's correct. Kitsch. Kitsch. Can I please have the definition? Artistic or literary material held to be of low quality, often produced to appeal to popular taste and marked especially by sentimentalism, sensationalism, and slickness. Can I, have, oh, can I have the language of origin? This word is from an originally German word. Kitsch. K-I-T-S-C-H. Kitsch. That's correct. <coughs> Persimmon. Persimmon. P E R S I M M O N. Persimmon. That's correct. Let's go to 175. 175. Page 41. Javier, you ready? Page you 41. 175. You got it? Are you ready? Okay, Sherry. Poinsettia. Can you please repeat the word? Poinsettia. Can I please have the definition? A showy Mexican and South American plant with tapering scarlet petal-like leaves that surround small yellow flowers. Poinsettia. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Poinsettia. Poinsettia. P-O-I-N-S-E-T-T-A. The correct spelling is P-O-I-N-S-E-T-T-I-A. Alchemy. Alchemy, can I have the definition, please? The medieval chemical science and speculative philosophy whose aims were especially the transmutation of the base metals into gold. Alchemy. Alchemy, can I have the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Greek to Arabic to Latin to French. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Alchemy. A L C H E M Y. Alchemy. That's correct. Gulag. Uh, may I have the definition, please? The penal system of the former Soviet Union consisting of a network of labor camps. Gulag. May I have the language of origin? This word is from a Russian acronym. Gulag. G. U L A G. Gulag. That's correct. G 
Chimichanga. Chimichanga. Can I have the definition? A tortilla wrapped around a filling as of meat and deep fried. Chimichanga. Can I have the part of speech? Noun. Chimichanga. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Spanish. Chimichanga. C H I M I C H A N G A. Chimichanga. That's correct. Synchronous. Synchronous. May I have the part of speech, please? Uh, this is an adjective. Synchronous. May I have the definition, please? Recurring or operating at exactly the same periods, marked by strict and exact coincidence in time, rate, or rhythm. Synchronous. May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Greek. Synchronous. S Y N C H R O N O U S. Synchronous. That's correct. Eisenglass. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a Dutch word, Eisenglass. Can, are there any alternative pronunciations? Eisenglass, Eisenglass. Eisenglass, I S E N G L A S S, Eisenglass. The correct spelling is I S I N G L A S S. Ocarina. Definition, please. A simple wind instrument or toy of the flute class having a mouthpiece and finger holes and usually made of terracotta in various sizes. Ocarina. Ocarina. O C A R I N A. That's correct. There are none. May I have the language of origin? This word is from Arabic. Swahili. Swahili. S W A H I L I. That's correct. <coughs> Gingham. Can I have the definition, please? A clothing fabric usually of yarn dyed cotton and plain weave made in solid colors, checks, plaids, and stripes. Gingham. Can you use it in a sentence? Betsy made curtains of blue gingham for her kitchen. Gingham. Gingham. G I N G U M. Gingham. The correct spelling is G I N G H A M. Peloton. Peloton. P E L L A T O N. The correct spelling is P E L O T O N. Obsequious. Obsequious. O B S E Q U I O U S. Obsequious. That's correct. Bachstein. Bachstein. Can you definition, please? A German cheese resembling Limburger that is produced in brick shape. <coughs> Bachstein. Bachstein. B A C K S T E I N. Bachstein. That's correct. Terrapin. Definition. Any of various North American turtles living in fresh or brackish water. Terrapin. Language of origin. This word is of Algonquin origin. May you use it in a sentence? Murray awoke from his lakeside nap to find a terrapin sunning on the blanket. Terrapin. Terrapin. T E R R I P I N. The correct spelling is T E R R A P I N.
53, number 250. Let's wait. Javier, you got it? Okay. Jim Kana. Jim Kana, can I have the definition, please? A horseback riding meet featuring games and novelty contests. Jim Kana. Jim Kana, can I have the language of origin? This word is from a Persian word that went into Hindi and was influenced by a Greek derived English word. Jim Kana. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Jim Kana. Jim Kana. G Y M K H A N A. Jim Kana. That's correct. Sir Dobb. May I have the definition, please? A living room in the basement of a house in the Near East that provides coolness during the summer months. I have the language of origin. Sorry. This word is from a word that went from Persian <coughs> to Arabic. Serdab. Serdab. S E R D A B. Serdab. That's correct. Garibaldi. Garibaldi. Can I have the definition? A woman's blouse copied from the red shirt worn by the Italian patriot Garibaldi. Garibaldi. Can I have the part of speech? Noun. Garibaldi. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from an Italian name. Garibaldi. G-A-R-I-B-A-L-D-I. -I. Garibaldi. That's correct. Raconteur. Raconteur, may I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a French word. May I have the definition, please? One who excels in telling anecdotes, a storyteller. Raconteur, are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Raconteur, R-A-C-O-N-T-E-U-R. -E Raconteur. That's correct. <coughs> Fräulein. May I please have the definition? A usually young, unmarried woman, especially of Germany. Fräulein. Can you use it in a sentence, please? A Fräulein is traditional Bavarian dress. Tra excuse me. <laughs> a Fräulein in traditional Bavarian dress took the tourists through the old castle. Fräulein. Fräulein. F O Y L I N E. The correct spelling is F-R-A-U-L-E-I-N. <coughs> Rendezvous. Um, can I please have the language of origin? This word is from a French word. Are there any alternate pr pronunciations? Rendezvous. Rendezvous. Can you please use the word in a sentence? The astronauts completed a rendezvous with an orbiting space station. Can I have the definition, please? A meeting at an appointed place and time. Rendezvous. Rendezvous. R-H-O-N-D-E-V-U-E. -E. Rendezvous. The correct spelling is R-E-N-D-E-Z-V-O-U-S. Thank you. Nathanic. Uh, definition, please. Characteristic of one that courts favor by a cringing or overly flattering manner. <laughs> Obsequious. Nathonic. Uh, origin. This word is from a Greek literary name that went to Latin. Nathonic. Uh, Nathonic. N-A-T-H-O-N-I-C. The correct spelling is G-N-A-T-H-O-N-I-C. Mnemonic. Mnemonic. Could you use that in a sentence, please? Many children use the mnemonic word homes to help them name the Great Lakes. Mnemonic. Mnemonic. N E U M O N I C. Mnemonic. The correct spelling is M N E M O N I C. Schnecke. Schnecke. S C H N E C K E. 
Shineka. That's correct. Paradigm. Paradigm. <clears throat> P-A-R-A-D-I-G-M. Paradigm. That's correct. Repertoire. May I have the definition? A list or supply of pieces or parts that a company or a person has thoroughly rehearsed and is prepared to perform. Repertoire. Is there an alternate pronunciation? Repertoire. R E P E R T O I R E. Repertoire. That's correct. Commissar. Commissar. Can I have the definition, please? A Communist Party official assigned who teaches party principles and policies and ensures party loyalty. Commissar. Can I have a language of origin, please? This word is from a word that went from Latin to German to Russian. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Can I please have the prior speech? It is a noun. Commissar. Commissar. C O M M I S S A R. Commissar. That's correct. Ipecac. Ipecac. I P E C A C. Ipecac. That's correct. Dreidel. Dreidel. Can I please have the definition, please? A four-sided die that revolves like a spinning top, marking on, marked on each side with a different Hebrew letter, and used as a toy especially during the Hanukkah festival. Dreidel. Can I please have the language of origin? Originally German, this word became Yiddish before being adopted by English. Dreidel. Okay. Dreidel. D-R-E-I-D-E-L. Dreidel. That's correct. Page 59. Hold up. What number? 282. 282. Javier, you got it? You see? Okay, let's do it. Intaglio. Intaglio, can I have the definition, please? An engraving or incised figure in stone or other hard material. Intaglio. Are can I have language of origin? This word is from Italian. Intaglio, are there any alternate pronunciations? Intaglio. 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 I N T A G L I O. Intaglio. That's correct. Corpuscle. Corpuscle. Uh, may I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Uh, may I have the definition? A living cell, usually one that is somewhat isolated and not aggregated into continuous tissues. Corpuscle. Corpuscle. C O R P U S C L E. Corpuscle. That's correct. Maraschino. Maraschino. Can I have the definition? A cherry preserved in true or imit imitation sweet liqueur, often flavored with bitter almonds, jasmine, or vanilla. Maraschino. Mar Maraschino. M-A-R-A-S-C-H-I-N-O. Maraschino. That's correct. Whitloaf. Whitloaf, may I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a Dutch word. Whitloaf, may I have the definition, please? Chicory. Also, its crown of foliage is a salad green. Whitloaf. Whitloaf. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Whitloaf. W-I-T-L-O-O. 
O F. Whitloaf. That's correct. Gesundheit. Can I have the definition, please? Uh, used to wish good health, especially to one who has just sneezed. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. G E S U N D H E I T. Gesundheit. That's correct. Apartheid. Apartheid. <clears throat> Can you give me the definition, please? A policy of segregation and political and economic discrimination against certain population groups. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Apartheid. 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 <clears throat> A. P. A R T I T apartheid. The correct spelling is A P A R T H E I D. Baedeker. Baedeker. B A E D. E K E R. Baedeker. That's correct. Garçon. Garçon. May I have your definition, please? A uh, serving man, especially a waiter in a French restaurant. May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from an originally Germanic word that became French before becoming English. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Garçon. May I have the prior speech? Noun. Garçon. G A R C O N. Garçon. That's correct. Philhellenism. Philhellenism. P H I L H E L L E N I S M. Philhellenism. That's correct. Fortrecker. Fortre <coughs> Fortrecker. Can I please have the language of origin? This word is from an African word. Okay. Try the definition. A South African pioneer, especially one of the Boers who took part in the trek from Cape Colony to the Transvaal in 1834. Can you please repeat the word? Fortrecker. Right. Fortrecker. V O O R T R E K K E R. Tracker. That's correct. Okay, let's do the end of the B procedure. Sherry, do you want to jump? Uh, yes, we'll go to. Since the field is narrowing, we'd like to take a moment to review the end of B procedures for determining our champion. If all spellers within a single round misspell a word, all spellers remain in the competition and a new round will begin. <coughs> if only one speller in a round spells correctly, that speller proceeds to a championship round of one and must spell another word correctly in that round to be declared the champion. If that speller misspells in the round of one, a new round will begin with all spellers who spelled correctly and incorrectly in the previous round, spelling in their original order. Now let's resume the B. Page okay, 69, Sherry, what number? number 341, page 69. Javier, you ready? CC? Okay, let's do it. Oshuary. Ossuary, can I have the definition, please? A depository for the bones of the dead. Ossuary. Ossuary, can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Could I have the part of speech? Noun. Could you use it in a sentence? Zelda got the shivers as she explored the ossuary. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Ossuary. Ossuary. Sorry. Ossuary. O S S U A R why, ossuary? That's correct. Vaccinoid. May I have the definition, please? Being or resembling the mild systemic reaction of a human being following immunization against small, smallpox. May I have the language of origin? 
The first part of this word is from an originally Latin word, and the second part is an English combining form, vaccinoid. Vaccinoid. V A C C I N O I D. Vaccinoid. That's correct. Conniption. Conniption. Can I have the definition? A fit of rage, hysteria, or alarm. Conniption. Conniption. Can I have the part of speech? Noun. Conniption. Can I have the language of origin? This word is of an unknown origin. Conniption. C-O-N-N-I-P-T-I-O-N. -N -I Conniption. That's correct. Jettison. Jettison, may I have the definition, please? Uh, drop from an airplane in flight. Jettison. Jettison, are there any alternate pronunciations? Jettison. Jettison. May I have the language of origin, please? Originally Latin, this word went through French before becoming English. Jettison. J E T T I S O N. Jettison. That's correct. Inordinate. Can I please have the definition? Exceeding in amount, quantity, force, intensity, or scope, the ordinary reasonable or prescribed limits. Inordinate. Inordinate. I-N-O-R-D-I-N-A-T-E. Inordinate. That's correct. Zealotry. May I have the definition? Fanatical devotion. Zealotry. May I have the language of origin? This word is from Greek. <coughs> is there an alternate pronunciation? There are none. Z E L E T R E E zealotry. The correct spelling is Z E A L O T R Y. Arbitrage. Arbitrage. May I please have the definition? Simultaneous purchase and sale of the same or equivalent security, commodity contract, insurance, or foreign exchange on the same or different markets. May I please have the language of origin? This word is from a Latin word that became French and then English, arbitrage. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. May I please have the par speech? It is a noun. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Through, care, through skillful arbitrage, Costanza doubled her money in two weeks. Arbitrage. Arbitrage. A, R, B, I, T, R, a G E arbitrage. That's correct. Parochialism. Can you repeat the word? Parochialism. Any alternate pronunciations? Parochialism. Language of origin? This word consists of a part that went from Latin to French to English plus an English combining form. Parochialism. Can you repeat the word? Parochialism. Parochialism. P E R R 
O C U L I S M parochialism. The correct spelling is P A R O C H I A L I S M. Flexuosity. Can you please repeat the word? Flexuosity. Uh, definition, please. The quality or state of lacking rigidity in structure or action. Flexuosity. Okay. Uh, origin, please. This word is from Latin. Flexuosity. F L E X T U O S I T Y. Flexuosity. The correct spelling is F L E X U O S I T Y. Okay, how many do we have left? Five? Okay. Mm -hmm. Five? Six? Okay. Number 357. 367. Javier? Okay. Hold up. Got it? CC, you good? Okay. Go ahead. Acquittal. Acquittal. Can I have the definition, please? A setting free or deliverance from the charge of an offense by verdict of a jury, sentence of a court, or other legal process. Acquittal. Acquittal. Can I have the language of origin? This word consists of a Latin part plus a part that went from Latin to French. Acquittal. Could I have the part of speech? Noun. Could you use it in a sentence? The young defense attorney was determined to win an acquittal for her client. Acquittal. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Acquittal. Acquittal. A C Q U I T T A L. Acquittal. That's correct. Bandicoot. Bandicoot. May I have the definition, please? Any of small, uh, in active, Insectivorous and herbivorous marsupial mammals found in Oceania. May I have the language of origin? Uh, this word is from Telugu. Are Bandicoot. There any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Bandicoot. Bandicoot. B A N D I C O O T. Bandicoot. That's correct. Peculate. Peculate. Can I have the definition? Steal or appro appropriate, appropriate wrongfully to one's own use. Embezzle. Peculate. Peculate. Can I have the part of speech? Verb. Peculate. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Peculate. P E C U L A T E. Peculate. That's correct. Styptic. Styptic. May I have the part of speech, please? Uh, an adjective. May I have the definition, please? Tending to arrest bleeding, especially having the property of arresting oozing of blood when applied to a bleeding part. Styptic. Styptic. May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Greek. Styptic. S T Y P T I C. Styptic. That's correct. Brilliantine. Can I have the definition? A usually colored and perfumed dressing for making hair glossy. Brilliantine. Brilliantine. B R I L I A T I N E. Brilliantine. The correct spelling is B R I L L I A N T I N E. Dowager. Dowager. May I please have the definition? An elderly woman of imposing appearance or dominant personality. Dowager. May I please have the language of origin? This word is from a French word. May I please have any alternate pronunciations? There are none. May I please have the prior speech? Noun. Dowager. D O W A G E. R. Dowager. That's correct. Okay. Five left. Five. Okay. Okay. 
page 78, number 395. 395. Got it? Mm -hmm. CC? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Heliacal. Heliacal, can I have the definition, please? Relating to or near the sun, used especially of the last setting of a star before and its first rising after invisibility, due to conjunction with the sun. Heliacal. Heliacal, can I have the language of origin? This word is from Greek. Could I have the part of speech? Adjective. Could you use it in a sentence? The Egyptian rural, rural year was determined by the heliacal rising of Sirius. Heliacal. Are there, are there any alternate pronunciations? Heliacal, heliacal. Heliacal. H E L I A C A L. Heliacal. That's correct. Stereognosis. May I have the definition, please? Ability to perceive or the perception of material qualities of an object by handling or lifting it. Tactile recognition. Stereognosis. May I have the language of origin? Both parts of this word are originally Greek. <clears throat> Can you repeat the word, please? Stereognosis. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Stereognosis. Could you repeat the word, please? Stereognosis. Stereognosis. S T E R E O G N O S I S. Stereognosis. That's correct. <coughs> Einsteinium. Einsteinium. Can I have the definition? A radioactive element artificially produced. Einsteinium. Einsteinium. Can I have the language of origin? Noun. I'm sorry. <laughs> this word is from a German name plus a Latin combining form, and it is a noun. Einsteinium. E I N S T E I N I U M. Einsteinium. That's correct. Decastic. Decastic. May I have the part of speech, please? Noun. Decastic. May I have the language of origin, please? This word consists of Greek elements. Decastic. May I have the definition, please? A poem or stanza of ten lines. Decastic. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Decastic. D E C A S T I C H. Decastic. That's correct. Bastide. Bastide, may I have the definition? A village or town in medieval France built especially for defense and usually laid out according to a definite geometric plan. Bastide. May I have the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Germanic to Old Provençal to French. Bastide. May I have any alternate pronunciations? There are none. May I have the prior speech? No. Bastide. B. A S T I D E. Bastide. That's correct. Five. Page eighty one. Number four thirteen. Brucellosis. Brucellosis. Can I have the definition, please? A disease of humans that is characterized by extreme exhaustion and generalized aches and pains. Brucellosis. Brucellosis. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from an English name plus a Latin combining form. Brucellosis. Could I have the part of speech? Noun. Could you use it in a sentence? An outbreak of brucellosis forced the sausage factory to shut down. Brucellosis. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Brucellosis. B. R U C E L L O S I S. Brucellosis. That's correct. Okay. 
A carryout. Can I have the definition, please? A small, usually microscopic mass of protoplasm bounded externally by a semi-permeable membrane and lacking a nucleus. May I have a the carryout. May I have the language of origin? This word is from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin. Can you use it in a sentence? The virus is an example of an eukaryote having only a protein shell surrounding DNA or RNA. A carryout. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Eukaryote. E C A R I O T E. Eukaryote. The correct spelling is A-K-A-R-Y-O-T-E. Stephanie, can you keep him over there? Okay. Rubicell. Rubicell. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a French word. Rubicell. Can I have the definition? An extremely hard gem min mineral of a yellow or orange-red color. Rubicell. Can I have the part of speech? Noun. Rubicell. Can you use it in a sentence? The rubicell typically comes from deposits in Southeast Asia. <coughs> rubicell. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Rubicell. R U B I C E L L E. Rubicell. That's correct. Number six, you can sit down. Cresard. Cresard. May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Greek. May I have the part of speech, please? Noun. Cresard. May I have the definition, please? The soil water available for plant growth. Cresard. Cresard. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. There are none. Cresard. C H R E S A R D. Cresard. That's correct. Labefaction. Definition, please. A weakening or impairment, especially of moral principles or civil order. Labefaction. <coughs> Can I please have the language of origin? This word is from a Latin part plus an English combining form. Labefaction. Can I have the definition again, please? A weakening or impairment, especially of moral principles or civil order. Labefaction. Can I have the power of speech? No. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Can you use it in a sentence? In the 1990s, the labefaction of communism has spread quickly around Eastern Europe. Labefaction. Can you repeat the word, please? Labefaction. Labefaction. L A B I F A C T I O. And labefaction. The correct spelling is L A B E F A C T I O N. Okay, we're good. Okay, Sherry, just stay with it. Stay with it. Let's mm -hmm. Stay okay. with it. Oh, stay where we are? Yeah, let's stay where we are. Okay. Uh, okay, 422. 422. Mm -hmm. Neuropathy. Neuropathy. Can I have the definition, please? Any of various abnormal states of the nervous system or nerves, especially when involving degenerative changes. Neuropathy. Neuropathy. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Greek to interna international science vocabulary. Could you repeat the word? Neuropathy. Neuropathy. Can I have the part of speech? Noun. Could you use it in a sentence? Neuropathy can lead to numbness and weakness of the hands, feet, or limbs. Neuropathy, are there any alternate pronunciations? Neuropathy. Neuropathy. N-E-U-R-O-P-A-T-H-Y. Neuropathy. That's correct. Harfang. Harfang. Can I have the definition? A snowy owl. 
Harping. Can I have the part of speech? It is a noun. Harping. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a German-derived Swedish word. Harping. H-A-R-F-A-N-G. Harping. That's correct. Puchero. Puchero, may I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a word that went from Latin to Spanish. Puchero, may I have the definition, please? A Latin boiled dinner of, or stew containing beef, sausage, bacon, and various vegetables. Puchero. Puchero, are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Puchero. P U C H E R O. Puchero. That's correct. Stay or go? It's your call, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move a little. Okay. Uh, page 85, number 441. 441. Okay. Javier? 441. Cece? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead, Sherry. Noctilucus. Noctilucus, can I have the definition, please? Shining at night, phosphorescent. Noctilucus, can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Could I have the part of speech? It is an adjective. Could you use it in a sentence? The Noctilucus algae turned the stream into a shining path through the trees. Noctilucus. Noctilucus, are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Noctilucus. N O C T I L U C O U S. Noctilucus. That's correct. Pelicosaur. Pelicosaur. Can I have the definition? Any of an order of primitive Permian reptiles that resembled mammals and often had extreme development of the dor dorsal <coughs> vertebral processes. Pelicosaur. Pelicosaur. Can I have the part of speech? It is a noun. Pelicosaur. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Greek. Pelicosaur. P E L Y C O S A U R. Pelicosaur. That's correct. Idlus. Idlus. May I have the language of origin, please? This word consists of an English part and a French combining form. Idlus. May I have the definition, please? The quality or state of being unoccupied or unemployed. Idlus. Idlus. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Idless. Idless. I D L E S S E. Idless. That's correct. Okay. Hibernaculum. Hibernaculum, can I have the definition, please? A shelter that is occupied during the winter by a dormant insect or other animal and that usually has a characteristic structure for each species. Hibernaculum. Hibernaculum, can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Hibernaculum, can I have the part of speech? Noun. Could you use it in a sentence? Jewel Cade in South Dakota is an important hibernaculum for several species of bats. Hibernaculum. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Hibernaculum. H. I B E R N A C U L U M. Hibernaculum. That's correct. Moussaka. Moussaka. Can I have the definition? A dish of ground meat and sliced eggplant or potatoes often topped with a seasoned sauce. Moussaka. Moussaka. Can I have the part of speech? Noun. Moussaka. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Um, let's see how that is different. Yeah, Moussaka. 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 Can I have the language of origin? Uh, this word is from a word that went from Turkish to Greek. Moussaka. M O U. S S A K A Musaka. That's correct. Oh, 
Oh, yay. Oh, yay. May I have the definition, please? Used by criers of courts as a command to secure silence and attention before a proclamation. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yay. May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a French word. Oh, yay. O Y E Z. Oh, yay. That's correct. Let's go to 450 and, and don't omit any. Let's go straight through. Okay. I'm going to skip 450, start with 451. 451, okay. 451, got it? Okay. <coughs> Bioacoustics. Bioacoustics? Bioacoustics. Bioacoustics. Can I have the definition, please? A branch of science that deals with the relation between living beings and sound, bioacoustics. Bioacoustics, can I have the language of origin? Uh, both parts of this word are originally Greek. Could I have the part of speech? Plural noun. Could you use it in a sentence? A professor of bioacoustics is doing research on how marine mammals hear, bioacoustics. Bioacoustics, are there any alternate pronunciations? Bioacoustics. Bioacoustics. B. I O A C O U S T I C S bioacoustics. That's correct. <coughs> Glaucomatous. Glaucomatous. Can I have the definition? Of relating to or affected with the disease of the eye marked by increased pressure within the eyeball that damages the optic disc and results in gradual loss of vision. Glaucomatous. Glaucomatous. Can I have a language of origin? The first part of this word is from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin, and the second part is an English combining form. Glaucomatous. Can I have the part of speech? Adjective. Glaucomatous. G L. A U C O M A T O U S. Glaucomatous. That's correct. Discrepate. Discrepate. May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Latin. Discrepate. May I have the part of speech, please? Verb. Discrepate. May I have the definition, please? Discriminate. Distinguish. Discrepate. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Discrepate. D I S C R E P A T E. Discrepate. That's correct. Core agenda. Could you repeat the word? Core agenda. Core agenda. Can I have the definition, please? Uh, lists of errors and a printed work with corrections. Core agenda, can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Could I have the part of speech? Plural noun. Could you use it in a sentence? Readers of the news magazines were delighted when the editors decided that the core agenda should be more prominently placed. Core agenda. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Car agenda. Core agenda. C O R R I G E N D A core agenda. That's correct. Pembina. Pembina. Can I have the definition? A shrub or tree of North America and Europe with prominently three lobed leaves and red fruit, called also high bush cranberry. Pembina. Pembina. Can I have the part of speech? Noun. Pembina. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a French word that is perhaps a modified form of a Cree word. Pembina. P E M B I N A. Pembina. That's correct. Levanter. Levanter, may I have the definition, please? A strong easterly Mediterranean wind. Levanter. Levanter. May I have the language of origin, please? The first part of this word is from an originally Latin word that went through French before becoming English, and the second part is an English combining form. Levanter. Levanter. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. May I have the part of speech, please? It is a noun. Levanter. L E 
V A N T E R. Levanter. That's correct. Heortology. Heortology, can I have the definition, please? A study of religious calendars, especially a study of the history and the meaning of the seasons and festivals of the church year. Heortology. Heortology, can I have the language of origin, please? Both parts of this word are originally Greek. Heortology, could I have the part of speech? Noun. Could you use it in a sentence? Barbara's thesis on medieval Italian, Heortology, was published last year. Heortology. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Heortology. H. E O R T O L O G Y. Heortology. That's correct. Coffret. 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 Are there any alternate pronunciations? Coffret. Coffret. Can I have the definition? A small chest or box. Coffret. Can I have a language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Greek to Latin to French plus a French combining form. Coffret. C A U F R E T T E. Coffret. The correct spelling is C O F F R E T. Okay, keep her. Aflatus. Aflatus, may I have the part of speech, please? Noun. Aflatus, may I have the definition, please? A divine imparting of knowledge or power, inspiration. Aflatus. Aflatus, may I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Latin. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Aflatus. Aflatus. A F F L A T U S. Aflatus. That's correct. Okay, number seven, you can sit down. Go to 460. Go ahead and call it. 460. 461. I'm going to skip the. No, let's names. call 460. Okay. 460. 460. The word is Pico. It has a near homonym. The definition is any tea of Indian or Sri Lanka made from leaves of approximately the same size obtained by a screening fired tea. Pico. Could I have the language of origin? This word is from a Chinese word. Could I have the part of speech? Noun. Could you use it in a sentence? Rita offered Aunt Alice a cup of brewed pico. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Mm. Pico. Peco. Yeah, peco. You're right. Pico. P E K O E. Pico. That's correct. <coughs> Etagere. Can you please repeat the word? Etagere. Etagere, may I have the definition, please? A cabinet consisting of a tier of open shelves. Etagere. Etagere. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Etagere. 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 And this is French? This is French. Latin to French. Etagere. Etagere. Can you please use it in a sentence? Karen decided that an etagere would be a practical addition to her kitchen. Etagere. Etagere. May I have the part of speech, please? Noun. And can you repeat the definition? A cabinet consisting of a tier of open shelves. Etagere. Etagere. E T A G I E R. Etagere. Okay, the we'll correct spelling is E T A G E R E. Okay, go to the round of one. Hold him there. Myocarditis. Myocarditis, can I have the definition, please? Inflammation of the middle muscular layer of the heart wall. Myocarditis, can I have the language of origin? This word is from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin. Myocarditis, could I have the part of speech? Noun. Could you use it in a sentence? A severe case of myocarditis could result in heart failure. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Myocarditis. M Y O C A R D I T I S. Myocarditis. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a champion.
Sets and Ready is our winner, our runner-up, Lokesh Naginini. Congratulations to you, gentlemen. Way to go. That was a great competition. I'd like to bring in now uh, Craig Kilgore, president of Weir's Furniture. We can all breathe a sigh of relief. I'm delighted to have Craig present the trophy to our 2013 Scully Bean champion. Craig. First of all, I'd like to thank all of our contestants. On behalf of Weir's Furniture, we are so very proud of you, and I, am, I stand in awe of you and your accomplishments. Shatan, uh, we are so grateful for you, and thank you for this great accomplishment, and we look forward to following you in the national tournament. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Shatan. Your parents right. can come on up. Where are they? Yes, come on up this way. Now, I have a feeling you've been here before, have you? Yeah. How did it go in the past? Um, it was good. How many have you won? Three. Three. Three-time winner. Congratulations. Have a big round of applause. Come on up here, Dad. Congratulations to you. How hard does this boy work? Oh, he works really hard, very, very hard. Congratulations. Congratulations. This is a wonderful, that was a great competition and a great win. Congratulations to everybody. It's really a pleasure to see the hard work pay off, and you guys did a great job today. Thank you uh, for watching this year's contest, and we'll see you next year for the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee. Congratulations. Way to go, man. This has been the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee, presented by Weir's Furniture. Our sincere thanks to all students, their parents, teachers, and school administrators across North Texas for making this program possible. Once again, a special thanks to our sponsor, presenting sponsor, Weir's Furniture, serving the Dallas Metroplex since 1948. Whataburger, Busy Bee Sponsor, Nature Nate's North Dallas Honey Company, Honey Bee Sponsor, and Southwest Airlines, the exclusive and official airline for the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee. Find Southwest fares online only at southwest.com.